All right, thanks, Lindsay. The pressure to get good grades, be a strong athlete, and to make friends can be too much for some students. And some end up self-medicating. Sloan Heller joins us from the newsroom with more. Sloan, good morning. Good morning, Curtis. You know, some students, we've all felt at the pressure, whether it's to get straight A's and get into a top college. Uh, others of us have felt really anxious about making, you know, whether it's the football team or the cheerleading squad. And then there are those who are really under social pressures. They're worried about keeping their friends, making new friends if they're starting a new school. School, uh, these stresses can get so intense that students develop anxiety or depression. And I talked to a psychologist based in Prairie Village. She deals with preteens, teens, and college students. She says there is still a fair amount of binge drinking in high school, but a lot more students are smoking marijuana, not just once, but several times a day. She says before they go to school, on their way to school, during school, when they get home, and before bed. She sees some students get caught in such a bad cycle, they end up dropping out of school. It leads to decreased motivation, poor performance in school, and then they get further and further behind academically, which just increases the anxiety level that they're feeling about school and performance and achievement, which results in self-medicating with more pot. Now, we asked if pharmaceutical drugs are still kind of a popular thing that, uh, that this uh, psychologist is seeing. She said a little bit, but she said this kind of casual use of marijuana is much more common these days. We're in the newsroom this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News. We have more back-to-school stories on our website, including back-to-school do's and don'ts and one school that's already in session. It's all on NBCActionNews.com. Over um, news and click on education.